All right, the chant. I have no idea what this game's about. Uh, here's a good like some chant gameplay. Action horror game. Okay, you piqued my attention. Peggy sixteen. Let's go. It can be difficult to know where to begin. You may not realize it, but you are sacred. Kim. Doesn't this all feel a little bit grumpy? Graphics look pretty good. Oh. What just came out of his mouth? We have to trust <laughs> the spiritual journey. Team play overview. Hi, I'm Mike Scupa, creative director of The Chant. Yo, this looks fire! adventure game set on a remote spiritual retreat in the Pacific Northwest. You play as Jess, who's come to Glory Island seeking healing from a past traumatic event. Her peaceful weekend soon turns to cosmic dread after a group chant opens a parasitic dimension known as the Gloom, which is engulfing the island and threatening to take control of everyone and everything on it. Oh my gosh. Come, come to us. Yikes. The island itself is interconnected, creating a compact exploratory world, with the retreat acting as the central hub. Gotcha. What was that? Proceeding into the many surrounding locations uncovers resources and collectibles, while bringing to light the dark past of the island's former inhabitants. Are we on the train tracks with it? As a father, I must discipline my children when they misbehave. Along your journey, there are items to craft and puzzles to solve in order to proceed deeper into the heart of the island. I was, I was not expecting this when I clicked on uh, the trailer. This is cool. Oh my god, my mind. Mind, body, and spirit are essential to Jess's well-being, and every action you take influences the balance between them. Jeez. Hey, we were just discussing tonight's session. Are you ready for a change? Dialogue choices, meditation, and resources found throughout the island affect that balance and ultimately determine how your story concludes. Okay. As the gloom spreads throughout the island, you need to traverse each of the supernatural areas as it attempts to amplify and feed on Jess's negative energy. That's okay. That uh, is demonic, but I got you. What is that thing? Holy. Okay, jeez. While Jess may not be a trained fighter, she is able to craft various spiritual weaponry and tools to fight against the prismatic That's cool, you can fight back. released from the gloom. Exploiting enemies' weaknesses with the right weapons or using traps and utility items are key to survival. This looks hard, dude. But as resources and weapons are limited, knowing when to flee to fight another day is crucial. <laughs> Through the discoveries and teachings of prismic science, Jess learns to harness the power of the gloom herself. Numerous spiritual abilities can increase your odds of survival against <laughs> that this quick dodge, though. Force. Jeez. Welcome to your spiritual nightmare. Yeah, this actually looks like something I'm a nightmare for. What the hell? Holy. November 3rd? Fire.